Okay, so uh, I have never played Generation 4 of Pokemon before, so we're checking that out as a sub-goal. Those of you who have been following the channel or watching my VODs or what have you, you'll know that this isn't, strictly speaking, normal Pokemon. Um, it's not randomized. It There is a slight, let's say, slight graphics change, um, but that that's all that's different about it. If I enjoy Gen 4, maybe a randomized version in the future, I do like randomizers. But for now, we, we, we're sticking with as vanilla Pokemon Platinum as, as, as possible. Platinum because that was... Well, I figured I might as, well, as well do like the, the refined version. Also, I have the chunk of a strategy guide closer to me than my Diamond Pearl strategy guide. Uh, I think that's it. Um, this is going to be a shorter stream. I've got two hours and like 40 minutes or so before I have to wrap up and eat before um, my D&D stream later. So without further ado, let's get going. I'll alter the volume on the fly and everything. Um, just let me know if he's doing. We're going to watch the opening cutscene because I say, I've never seen this before. So it's pretty hype for me. Let me sit down on my headset though. Ow, that was loud. Please don't Pokemon, please don't deafen me. I remember Ruby being super loud as well, actually. Ignore the black dots, they're the emulator. I mean, totally legit copy that I'm playing on. Ayo! Hey so moe. How many times over under am I going to press escape to back out of menus and things? Do we think? Oh, right, I have to actually click in there. There we go. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Hi. My name is Rowan. Well, it's actually Comrade Bubbles, but I'm reading the text for those of you unfamiliar with the idea of reading out loud. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. I'll level with your own. I've been playing these games since Red and Blue came to came out in the UK, so I think I'm pretty good. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokémon. Here, I have a Pokéball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokéball, if you'd please. Why is Pokéball capitalized? Uh, I did capture the cursor, so I'll probably have to be reminded to move that out of the way. So cute! We humans live alongside Pokémon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. Some people use their Pokémon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokémon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Alright, so you're a girl. Yes. Tell me, what is your name? Hell yeah. Your name is Ryder? Yes. Okay, so you're Ryder. I just told you that, Rowan. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. 
Oh, hey, it's Archie, I think? Barry? Oh, I can't remember. What might his name be? No, uh, Barry, I guess. Um, new name. Just going to hop on the bandwagon of a couple of streamers I've seen. Chat, you're the rival. Slash friend. Enjoy. Chat, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes. All right, Ryder. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm pretty sure I could count them if I wanted to. The Pokémon, I really can't be bothered. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokémon. Um, I'm in kind of an enclosed area. I don't think jumping's a good idea. I think I might hurt myself. Pokémon are by our side always. I hope you'll understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Prof Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. Oh, I recognise Kanto. That concludes our special programme. Let's ask Prof Rowan. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time. Same channel. Oh, hey chat. There you are. Oh, hang on, would this be more comfortable with my new keyboard? So I only need the arrow keys and Z next, right? Did you just see the TV? Sure you did. Prof is that really important guy who sort his Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. So if we ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. That was Pokemon three times in three sentences, chat. You really need to perfect your grammar. <laughs> who, am I to, who, am I, who am I to say things like that? Jesus. Oh, hey, is this, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Apparently breaking into my room and messing with my stuff. All oh, right, right. We're gonna see. We're gonna go see Prof Rowan and get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Ryder. If you're late, I'm finding you 10 million Poke whatever the currency is in Pokemon. Pokemon Soul. So there we go. Ryder, check the PC. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. People that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon trainers. Cool. Where's the key? Can I not? Oh, uh... Key yeah, item in the back of the assigned to the button for instant use. Yeah, I want the pause menu. Right, tech speed. Fast please. Stereo sound. Battle scene off. Uh, shift, because why would I ever play on set? Normal frame. Do we have a retro frame? You're back again with some nostalgia. Thanks, no worries, Blackout Cloud. Also, welcome back. Where's the retro frame? There's usually a retro frame. Don't do me like this, Platinum. Don't do me like this. There it is. All is right in the world. Mum bought this TV as a gift. Did she buy the Wii as a gift as well? It's a Wii! It's controlled by a Wii remote. I always thought it was a Wiimote. Nintendo is schooling me. Cool. The X button opens the menu. Yes, the the X button. The X button. It's totally not S. Yeah, I this was a, uh, a sub goal, and one of my followers gifted loads of subs yesterday. One of my subscribers gifted loads of subs yesterday, so here we are. I've never played this generation. Well, I played Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, like halfway through, but stopped because of time and the grind. A Wiimote? Yeah, I always thought it was called a Wiimote for some reason. Uh, Mom, Ryder! Chat already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I fucked up the chat box a little on stream by stretching it. Let's, uh, let's fix that. Is that better? I don't think that's any better. You know what? I'm just going to reinsert the chat box. Um, and we'll deal with that as it happens. Where did the chat box thing go? There it is. Oh, hang on. Now I have to grab it from... I can't grab it from a different scene because I'm live. Uh, hopefully I get the right chat box. Oh, I've only got the one chat box. Cool.
I guess there. You know what? Let's just put chat against the edge of the screen and hope that it doesn't look too weird. If there's any overlay problems, please do let me know. Or layout problems, I should say. Uh, this is highly experimental. Obviously, I've got two screens to work with on a DS, so um, I'm kind of making it up as I go along. You know how impatient chat is. He took off before I could even ask what it was about. Here we are, it's the Contest Digest. The winner of today's normal rank smart. Oh, please tell me there aren't Pokemon contests in this. It is Wesley, who won with his bright spark of a Pokemon. That's all we ha the time we have today. Let's meet again. Oh yes, Ryder. Don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. Generally the idea, I'm an adrenaline junkie. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So... Well, take care, sweetie. Enjoy the death threat. Or the warning of death. Do I leave footprints in the snow? Uh, yes, I do. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Yeah, people can watch me around the world as well if they so choose. Again, sorry about the black squares. I can't really do anything about those. Did you hear? The Pokemon Pokemon Professor returned to the next town over. They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Listen, listen, Ryder. I want a cute Pokemon. Okay. Get one. I guess. Twin Leaf Town, fresh and free. It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes, but Pokemon also open their hearts to you so you can become friends. Right, I don't have running shoes yet, so that's great. You're off to hang with chat again, right? You two sure are tight. Yeah, I'm here most days and chat sometimes turns up. It's a good day when chat turns up. I love my chat community. Thud! What was that about? Oh, hey, Ryder. Hey, I'm going to, go I'm going to see Prof. Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. Oh, jeez, we got something. Yeah, but I want to mess with your stuff, dude. You mess with mine. Chat's mom. Oh. Hey, chat. Who's your mommy? Oh, hi, Ryder. Did you come calling on chat? He was gone for a second, but then he came running b right back home. Yeah, he didn't even get out through the threshold. You could have... You, you saw him right there. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Spoink. I don't know. Better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Ryder. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million poke whatever. Fine if you're late. Yeah, but, like, what's on your computer? Pretty much the same as was on mine, actually. Except a bit about saving progress. Cool. Cool. Why do we even have computers? You could just use an exercise book to write that down. Hi, Ryder. You're looking for chat? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Because I don't have the running shoes yet, you fool. I have to walk everywhere. Too slow! Again, I don't have the running shoes, chat. Alright, let's get moving to Prof. Rowan's lab. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. What? Don't go to the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. We can just die! Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into tall grass? So what you do is you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. Mind blown, chat. Mind absolutely... Why has no one ever thought of this also kind of as a narrative consistency situation? If children can't go into tall grass because of wild Pokemon, does that mean that we have never left Twinleaf? Like, ever. Also, does that mean none of the adults leave Twin Leaf because they don't have Pokemon either, or is this just a way of keeping the children down? If we can just keep dash, if we just keep dashing, we can get to Sun Gem Town without running into our Pokemon. Actually, I know how the game works. If you run, you create more noise, which generates a higher chance of a random encounter. The best strategy would actually be to like do the worm, I guess. I don't know. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here goes. On your marks. Hold it. Oh, hey, that's proper, proper Owen. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? We just want to die. 
Awkward silence. Hey, Ryder, this old guy? That's far from it, isn't it? What's he doing here? I mean, you, you could just ask him and not be rude. Da, da, da. They tried to go into the tall grass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm, what to do? Let us reward their death wish with Pokemon. Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put them on that path? Probably, yeah. You two, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? I do, I really do. Me too, I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again, you two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times, the answer will never change. We'll both answer a hundred times, we love Pokemon. Actually, the answer is I love Pokemon. I don't know what this we is. So far you've broken into my room, messed with my computer, run into me, left me, pushed past me down a flight of stairs, and apparently just tried to commit suicide. What's this we? Right, Ryder? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? A pair of reckless kids who foolishly tried to enter tall grass without Pokemon of their own. They're perfect. They're protagonists. It worries me what Pokemon like that, what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I, uh. Well, then forget about me, but give a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Huh? How big of you? Very well then, I will entrust you two with Pokemon. And just like that, you apologize, everything's fine. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then. Hmm, now where? Oh, hey. Oh, the rival, I guess. Professor Owen! You left your briefcase behind at the lake. Is something wrong here? Ah, there it is, Lucas. Nice work. What I was about to do was entrust these two with their own Pokémon. What? Yeah, Lucas, that's actually a legit reaction. Those Pokémon are crucial. You're giving them away? Hmm. We exist side by side with Pokémon. There comes a time when people should meet Pokémon. There is a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place. Right here. The channel. Twitch.tv slash bubbles. Go on, open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Oh, hey chat, you get to choose my starter, so be kind. Really, Prof Rowan? I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey Ryder, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Yes. Class. Hopefully this worked. Look, these are Pokeballs. There is a Pokemon in each one. Now choose which Pokemon will it be? Chat, do we want the Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtwig? Kind of adorable. Do we want the Chip Pokemon Chimchar? Also, kind of adorable. Or do we want the Penguin Pokemon Piplup, who is wearing a hoodie three times too large? All three are adorable. We can only pick one. Chat, it's your choice. I'm going to hydrate. Oh, I'm going to make a choice if you don't choose, by the way. So, this is my way of chat interactivity. Okay. Oh, hey, hang on, someone else just joined. Let's say you've got like 15 seconds to choose Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup. And go. I'm not going to do a countdown though, because that's super stressful and I can't be bothered. You know, because I have a pushover, you get an extra 15 seconds to make it 30 seconds. A second is always one of those units of time that is like both too long and not long enough at the same time. Okay, right, it's Turtwig. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Chimchar. Very well, both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now, listen well. The Pokémon you've been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. Yeah, they don't look like any Pokémon I've ever seen. 
In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in San Gem Town. And now, we'll be on our way. Professor! Wait for me! Uh, sorry, folks. <laughs> Endless stream. How do you like that? Prof Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. Hey, chat, have you ever been so excited you just ran on the spot? <laughs> Ryder, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? No. What's with that attitude? Don't be that way. <laughs> Still no. Uh, I guess I have to do it. Fine. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Sub to twitch.tv slash camera bubbles. Gosh darn it. Ryder, I challenge you to a battle. I was so close. So close. The hell was that animation, chat? Ah. The sprites position needs fixing, I guess. Well, I'll fix that somehow. Uh, I'll just tackle to victory. Presumably I didn't move one of the files correctly. What in the... That one hurt! You... You... Tackle to victory. I think I know what I did, what I did wrong. It should be an easy enough fix. Uh, hang on. Just keep the animations playing out. Why are the sprites too high? Does anyone know? I will f figure that out off stream. Tackle! Just, you know, put up with it for now. I do apologize. I like how the, the, tig, the twig on Turtwig's head is just a ponytail sticking straight up. That's kind of adorable. Wow, you chat, you use not a single offensive move. Cool. Starting off strong with that experience reward, huh? Uh, 500 for winning, cool. Uh, dead bad, dead bad, now I'm on. Right, it's too high. Phew, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs rest too. See you, Ryder. Cool, chat. You just you just out? Cool, great. I teleported too, apparently. Right, I will have to do some research. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Chat are lucky to have met Prof Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what, wild, what the wild Pokemon might have done to you two. They would have killed us, we would have been dead. Right, I go see Prof Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sandgem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know. Ryder, put these on. Ryder received a pair of running shoes. Going to Sandgem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Press the B button and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yeah, mom, that's nifty. But is it like hot gold, soul, silver, where I can just toggle them on and off? Oh, cool. Yeah, I just... Oh, I mashed too quickly. It is nifty. I can't. I have to hold the button down. Cool. Anyway, uh, save the game. Wait for that to save. Man, the first save in any Pokemon game, huh? Kind of painful. Well, you know, while that's saving.
Please save. Oh, right. That was because the window's not active. Hmm. Hmm. And then presumably I can s save state. Uh, let's call that plat one. Okay, so to Prof Rowan, I guess. I can run, the game has opened up. Except I'm going to go left first, because there's something to the left. Too slow! Ryder, I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to go see Prof Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Prof Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. Yeah, except that you're following me, it's kind of terrifying. Oh, I guess there's no grass. I I guess I could leave Twin Leaf to go and play it. Like, I mean, according to legend, this lake is home to the Pokemon said to be the being of emotion. It's because of this Pokemon that people can experience sorrow and joy. Cool. All right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. The chat box, what did you do? Uh, I made it less stretched. Is it legible on stream? I can mess around with the layout for um, next time if it's not legible. What's going on? There it is. Yeah, I had I resized it so it wasn't super stretchy. The flowing time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake. Cyrus, you're making that sound a bit creepy. Just want to dial that down the back there, pal. Just a snitch. Allow me to pass. Step aside. I am the anti-Gandalf. I shall pass. What was that about? Weird guy. Okay, Ryder, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Kyaung. <laughs> Chat. Hmm? Did you hear that, Ryder? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Yeah, that's not gonna... It's not gonna happen. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E balls. Jeez, chat. Get those balls. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Prof Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we needed anything. Okay, Ryder, I'll race you. First one to the professor's lab in Sanjian Town Rules. Ah, yes, but first. What's actually in this patch of grass? A bidoof. So I'm assuming that to be the, the Rattata equivalent. Still need to really fix those sprite heights. Fortunately, today's stream won't be as long, so it won't be a problem for as long as it ordinarily would be. E balls. Exactly. P O K accent E balls. I don't like Bidoof's cry. I don't like it. Ew. Alright, I don't have any Pokeballs, and I'm assuming there's going to be, like, Bidoof, if that is the Rastor equivalent, and the Pidgey equivalent, which... What? Anime knowledge to... Save me, that's... Starly, right? For Gen 4? I have no idea. I'm going to run. Why am I not running? Yo, wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. Like a chest burster. So if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in the tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. Yeah, but there's a convenient amount of tall grass in this game that means I can never actually avoid the tall grass after a certain point. Trainer tips. Don't be shy. To talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you will get invaluable information and advice. Well, that's just that's just good life. That's just good life advice. 
If your Pokemon's health, that's its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Yeah, I'll just ask my Pokemon what its HP is at. Is that? Sure, why not? Still vaguely uncomfortable. I am so sorry about the sprite. It's bothering me beyond belief, would you believe? Well, Bidu fainted. Third week gained 24 experience points. Or well, exp points, I guess. Although it's better than XP, it's an actual word now. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. P O K accent E M O N Mart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? Open bracket HP close bracket. How do you pronounce open bracket HP close bracket chat? How, how do you think you pronounce it? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints in can't battle anymore. If a Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free, yes. The first taste is always free. And then before you know it, you've got a crippling potion addiction you can stop at any time. It will automatically go in the medicine pocket of your bag. Obtained the potion. In pro- <laughs> God damn it, blackout clown. <laughs> Ryder put the potion in the medicine pocket. That's what the medicine pocket's for, I guess. Medicine. Okay, she's fudging cute. Also, the front sprites are the right way around. Parentheses is the name for brackets. Oh, I know, I know. Bracket works as well. In British English, I believe. So, the uh, wild Pokemon sprites are the right size and height, but the trainer w Mine isn't? Maybe it's just the Turtwig sprites broken. Hmm. Not my attack. No, not my attack. Chris Lacey, we just say brackets. Yeah. Are you going to tell me I can hop over the ledges? That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf. Sure are. Oh, hey, it's Lucas. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please, come with me. The prof's waiting to see you. Yeah, but I don't actually know you. See, this is our Pokemon research lab. Why weren't you just standing outside the door? We'll just go ahead and... No, we won't. Chat's running into me again. Thud! What the? Oh, it's you, Ryder. That old guy. He's not so scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Ryder. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? You know, Lucas, I ask myself that every time I meet my best friend, chat. Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go. In. Uh, well, well, look who's here. Ryder, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Bit battered. Sorry. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm. And trusting you with that Turtwig was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, chat. What am I calling my Turtwig? I guess I can move the... Ah, oh, the shame jar. I'll leave the shame jar there for now. I honestly can't think of these. I don't usually give my Pokemon nicknames, but I, I'm figuring for stream entertainment purposes, I should give them nicknames. Call it brackets. Excellent, based on... Where's where my cursor? There it is. Uh, hang on. Hang on, even better. Even better. What do you think, chat? Does that fit? Does that work? I can call my next mod Boop if you want. I mean, I can always change it when I get to the name rater, wherever that 
person is, usually late game, so brackets for now. Hmm, okay, I see. I know you're happy with that nickname. Sure, why not? When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. Nay, shook. I was astounded by these foolhardy children, but now you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turtwig feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Turtwig of yours. Lucas, boy am I glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I'd have to shank you. Shank, specifically. Not, I have to enunciate that clearly. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. Okay. Is Professor your given name then? I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. Oh, I've got a book next to me that tells me that. I could just give you the answers right now. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? I'd press no, but we all know that it would just loop me around to saying yes eventually. Hmm. Good answer. Sweet Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Ryder, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. Uh, when you walked up Route 201 with your Poke 201 with your Pokémon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years, so long, so very long, and they've all been 2020. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokémon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokémon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Actually, one just this is how thick. Like this is my thumb. Okay, it's. It's a good inch and a quarter thick, the strategy guide. Uh, two. Uh, there are 492 Pokemon. Can confirm. Although I won't be able to get all of them because legendaries and version exclusives. What do I do with this book now? I didn't think this one through. Screw it, it's going on top of my desktop. Now go! Ryder, your grand adventure begins right now. Hey, that's the opening line from, like, Red and Blue. The professor asked me to help, so I'm filling the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. Comrades bubbles? Comrades bubble. What is the plural of comrade bubbles? Hmm. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Peace. Cool. Anyway, go on. Ryder, your grand adventure awaits you. Oh, I can run inside. The game has literally changed. Right, check the PC. The screen is filled with special terms and academic writing that is impossible to figure out. I assure you it is not. Do you just like sleep on the boxes? Because that doesn't seem good for your back at all. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. I don't like to laugh. Why are you laughing? Professor Rowan invented a new Pokédex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Oh, Oak. Oh, my name is Roseanne. It's an honor to be an assistant to our professor. Hey, Lucas. Ryder! You don't have to shout. You're right behind me. I have something good here. You should take this as well. What's well, TM27? That is a techni technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokémon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokémon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Okay. Uh, well, the apostrophe indicates possession. Well, I'll be. The professor had TMs. Yeah, like, nine in every 20 60-year-old men have TMs. It's, it's a common complaint. Next thing, he'll tell me he battled when he was young. Hey, Ryder, I want to show you a few things. Okay, so follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. 
can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Ryder, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? I assume this is uh, like later games that I've played, where the stock in the Pokemart is determined by how many gym badges you have. <laughs> what do you want, Comrade Bubbles? Is? Hell yeah, that, that double S looks weird, and I, I, and I kind of like it. I guess it would be Comrade Bubbles with ES. Hmm. Oh yeah, right, Ryder. You should let your family know you're helping Prof Rowan put together his Pokédex. Sometimes you have to go far away, so you should let someone know. But, okay, oh, but first go heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, be seeing you. You don't even know me and you're telling me what to do. You're not my mom. All your item needs fulfilled, Pokémon not. Oh, hey. Is there anyone giving away free shit in the Pokémon? In the Pokémon? I don't think there is in any game, but I always check. If you come across a Pokémon, you've just got to have toss a Pokéball. Never leave home without one. Comrades Bubbles is. I, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't see that you put Comrades Bubbles first. If a Pokemon loses all its HP, you can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid having that happen. I would assume it's Comrades Bubbles. Pluralize the Comrades. Uh, the Comrade. The Comrade. Welcome! What do you need? How many can I afford? So, oh yeah, right, that's 10. Cool. Uh, 17, I'll take 5. Probably not going to catch a Bidoof, but the Starling might be useful. So I don't forget what's happened till now. I'd better save this. There, now I can take a break. Yeah, right, I should... Hey you. Oh wow, Pokemon are so cool. You can make yours battle and make them stronger. I wish I had some, it's so cool. Well, I mean, the old guy's pretty much giving them away, so probably. Lucas's house. Ah, so that Rowan fellow is back. He's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and grandchild help Rowan with his studies now. Who are you? Oh, you're Ryder. You're doing that Pokedex thingy for the professor. Wow, that's the same as my big brother. Go for it. Thanks, kid. I was going to. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to be a complete the Pokédex thing. This is just a super casual beat the Elite Four. Check the PC. Cool. It's like, why, why are all the PCs the same? And I will probably end up doing grinding off stream. So if there's a chunk of time where I'm not playing this, it's because I haven't managed to grind. That thing you have, it's a Pokédex, isn't it? You're off to see all kinds of Pokémon now. Look at you. Pokemon grow steadily stronger from battling against other Pokemon. At first, you should take it easy, though. Here are your Pokemon regularly at Pokemon centers while you're leveling them up. A good trainer is one that takes care not to let their Pokemon faint from losing HP. Uh, please. Let me out! Let me out! Ignore the fact that I'm just going into the houses of strangers. It's perfectly legit. Heal your Pokemon. Pokemon center. Okay. The sign told me to do it, so I must do it. Top floor of any Pokemon Center is the Pokemon Communication Club. There you can have all sorts of fun with your friends. Try to look it up on Google and it tries to split the words. Yeah, I assumed it would. Thank you, anyway. Do you see that PC over there, that fancy blue one? If you've got Pokemon with you, it's free to use. If you don't have Pokemon with you, it costs your kidney, maybe your liver. Talk to that nice lady at the counter and hand her your Pokemon. She'll heal your Pokemon to perfect health in no time at all. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tied Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, and I'm going to press B so I don't accidentally trigger this conversation again. Hope to see you again. Hope your Pokemon die. Right, well, I've been told to go back home, so I guess take my life in my own hands. Whoop. 
And then I'm pretty sure there's probably a hidden item around here somewhere, but darn if I'm gonna look for it. Hey mom, uh, this kid I literally just met told me to go and talk to you, and I bet you've got nothing to say to me. Welcome home, Ryder. You Pokemon Health to take a quick rest. Told you. I had literally nothing to say. What is it, Ryder? Oh, no, I was wrong. Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Ryder, I've got something that you'll find useful. The journal. That's a journal. Keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Just joking, dear. Yup, Ryder. I'll be alright by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. I'm never coming back. Just to make that perfectly clear. Excuse me, is my little chat here? I don't know, chat, are you here? Oh, no, he's not. Chat's mom. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy she asked about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Uh, Mom, not to worry, Ryder will deliver that to him. Yes? Oh, good. Weren't you, Ryder? Are you just hiding under the bed, just creeping? Chat's mom, oh, really? You do that for me? Hydrate, you're right, Blackout. Please, uh, Ryder, please take this to chat for me. Oops. There you go, chat. I gave you your parcel. I also guess I hit the save state button. Uh, bye bye, Ryder. Enjoy your adventure. Chat's mom, let me think. Do my boy who would probably head straight to Jubilee Life City. Okay, please stay. That's my chat. The stitch mug. Uh, you can't really see it because of the webcam placement, but next to the Leafeon uh, cross stitch, kind of about here ish, there is a stitch plushie. Came with the stitch mug. Okay, I'm going to catch me a Starly, and I'm going to see if that fixes the sprite problem. Because if it's just Turtwig, that's fine. I don't have to do anything. But if it's all of the back sprites, clearly I need to mess with the, the thing. Happily, Starly. Go, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. I'd forgotten that already. Okay, let's do this. Chat, why do you let me name Pokemon these things? Why? Uh, bag. Pokeball, Pokeball. Pokeball, go! I haven't had the tutorial yet. How do I know how to catch Pokemon? I must be a genius. Hey, I gotcha. Starly's data was added to the Pokédex. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Uh, chat, what am I calling the Starly? It kind of looks like a maid. But I don't know if I want to go there with it. With, with, with this. I mean, there was Boop. Boop was suggested earlier. Take my bubbles won't fit, will it? T A K E M Y B U B B. Get the cursor out of there. Um. Anyway. Do 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 Uh, I really am desperately struggling to think of a name for this Starly. Hmm. Wait, that was just me and my chest. No worries, no worries. 
Um, man, when I was, when I did my randomizer, I was so on the ball with with Pokemon names, and now I've just I have no nicknames in on my brain. Uh, I mean, there was Boop, but I don't think a Starly kind of suits Boop. It's probably something with a huge name. No, Marley the Starly works for me. Obviously, it's not going to work when it evolves, but it works for now. I don't know how long Molly will be in the team anyway, so... Uh, actually, I'll run through to Sand Gem. I'll get some experience on brackets while, while, I'm, while I'm running. Okay, that was pain. I just I want a grass move, and I'm I'm gonna say probably not leech seed, probably vine whip. Keep us star raptors broken with the right moves. Very well, I shall. I was looking at Gen Four exclusives, and I was thinking my flying might be Driftlim, but if you say star raptors broken, I'm happy with that. I'm a big Spearow fan, so I'm totally okay with normal flying types in my team. Also, like, I don't know if Drifloom can fly. Whereas, I'm assuming Star Starly's evolution line can. Oh, I think this has also changed some evolution stuff, so I don't have to trade to evolve Pokemon. Certain Pokemon, but I'm not entirely sure. Right. I need to heal up because Molly. I need to check Molly's back sprite because if Molly's back sprite's in the right place, then it's just Turtwig for some reason, and that's its own problem. But if it's just Turtwig, I'm probably going to leave it. But if it's all of the Pokemon, then obviously I'm not going to leave it. Uh. Do do. Right. Chat. No, no ambush. Right. There's Luke. Please don't want to fight me. Please don't want to fight me. I have a... Uh, anyway. Ryder, do you know how to catch Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch. Uh, here's the tutorial. Real talk. One of the best things in Sword and Shield is the ability to turn up to skip the tutorials. Oh, that was so good. Okay, your Piplop's in the right place. Maybe it is just Turtwig. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it's just Turtwig. I guess this also works as a Saturday morning game. If I don't feel like Animal Crossing, I can just do grinding in this, I guess. Put some light copyright right for your music on in the background. Hang out with chat. Beat Pokemon up. Bidoof was caught! Might get a controller to play this with. So right now I'm using a keyboard, but the controller might be more comfortable. I mean, a DS. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have loaded the target's HP some more. Yup, the important thing is to load the top Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Oh, yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep or such. Here, Ryder, I'll give you five Pokeballs to get you started. Nice, I'm on nine. Quick Attack and Brave Bird for high DPS and the 34 learns close combat, which is broken. Is Brave Bird the one that does recoil damage? If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel farther. But I will I will bear that in mind. I'll try to remember. That wouldn't be for a good few streams yet. That way you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around. Yeah, but I just want to trigger a random encounter. Please be in the right place. Yeah. Okay, it's just Turtwig that's in the wrong place for whatever reason.
Uh, as this is super casual, I'm not trying... I'm trying to ignore natures and things. I don't usually bother with them. So... And obviously, because I'm not doing competitive, it doesn't matter all that much. Look at that little quiff thing. It's, it's kind of adorable. I've never really used moves that do recall... I need to get out of there. Never really used moves that do recoil damage, so... I'll have to get used to it, I guess. Yeah, Turtwig's just too high. Weird. Guess I'll keep an eye out, see if it's other, other um, sprites are too high as well. Oh, Shinx is adorable. Unfortunately, I've heard that Shinx is real bad. Because it's like a physical attacker, but all of its stab moves are special or something. Also, in the interest of, uh, like, speed... I'm going to be playing slightly differently to normal. I'm going to try not catch six Pokemon from the start and get them all leveled up. Um, I'm going to try and focus on like one or two at a time. Like I'm trying to get Starly to level five before I progress, just so I've got that extra buffer of health and stuff. Maybe I'll go to the Pokemon Center just to stop the red Bidu 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 tune. Okay. Space is not turbo. I don't know if there is a turbo in this emulator. I mean DS. Oh hey, have you seen how much DS captures like DS's you can capture from all? It's ridiculous. Let's just go and heal up. That's uh, probably for the best. My suggestion is to start up to build Brave Bird, U-Turn, Double Edge, and Close Combat. So two recoil moves. Is you because I have I've, I've I've seen some gameplay from this gen. I've just never played it myself and the anime obviously and later games. Is U-Turn the one way? It's like you do you attack and then swap out for the next Pokemon in the party. But I'll try to remember that uh, move set. Also, I'm kind of confused as to how a normal flying type loads a fighting move, because I'm assuming close combat to be fighting based on its name. Ah, Molly, you are pushing it. Right, you're going to level up anyway, so. Tackle to victory. I cannot wait to not have tackle. Although my usual thing is grass start. Well, I generally pick the grass starter anyway. Um, and then replace tackle with cut as soon as possible. I don't really go for HM slaves. Right. Just want to get to level 5 with my Starly. That's all I want. Uh, Star up just high speed to high dodge chance with a nature that buffs speed. Uh, makes it faster and stuff like Jeez, I should probably check the nature. And then we'll be like, oh, slow speed. But hey, at least it's not Gen 1 where speed equals crit chance. Look at her little blue socks. Pokemon. Oops, nope. Molly, summary. 
serious nature. Oh, it's neutral. Cool. Well, could be worse, I guess. Just out of curiosity, what is brackets as nature? Guys, so cute. Also neutral. Unless it's not indicated in this gen. Let's just check. Uh, serious nature apparently increases and decreases speed. Cool. Oh, hang on, that's adamant, right? Rash. Minus special defense, up special attack. Ah, eh, not bad, I guess, for a grass type. So, a neutral nature and just up special, down. Up special attack, down special defense, which, you know, is what it is. Anyway, this is super casual. I don't mind all that much about natures. Especially because I assume supplements exist and I can give them... Drugs. I mean, minerals. Adamant is best because it buffs speed and attack but decreases special defense. I thought it was serious. I will check though. At least it did in the old, old games. Yeah, I just typed in Gen 4 Natures, but I have actual no actual guarantee that the, the page I was looking for was Gen 4 Natures. It was just Pokemon Natures. Sorry, Pokemon Natures. Check that again. YouTube's gonna be like, what? Yeah, serious. Uh, list of natures. Oh, apparently the natures are the same in every... ...game, I guess? Like, in every, in every gen, they never change them? That's cool. So at least you know what you're getting. So yeah, so it's... it was what, serious? Which is just a neutral nature. Yeah. Could be worse. You never played this one? Well, let's go on this journey together. You messed up the shame sign. Shame on you, but welcome, Fat Chance, welcome. Unlocking to give me bubbles. Why, thank you. I'll take your channel points. Anyway, let's continue getting Molly to level 5. Hey, look, Molly, it's you. Why, shame. What, dude? I mean, it's Moemon. What did you expect? Cute anime girls. I really should put it as Moe in the title, shouldn't I? Capture creatures to make them fight part just got dark as heck. Capture creatures to make fight part just got dark as heck. Yeah, it did, unfortunately. Yeah, Marley's level 5. And quick attack. Right. Back to the Pokemon Center to heal up, and then we will progress along Route 202. Gosh darn it. It's experience, I guess. Wide shame. Oh, I meant to say, um, this 
this stream is not replacing my D&D one later. This is just a bonus stream. <laughs> they look so innocent. You can't kill them. Oh, shit. I'm not killing them. I'm knocking them unconscious, which makes it sound even worse now I think about it. Seriously, though, um, so Gen 4 has Moemon, both Platinum and Heart Gold. Oh, shoot. Um, rip brackets, I guess. Those brackets are closed. Uh, and then Gen 3 has, like, both Fire Red Leaf Green and Ruby Sapphire Emerald have Moemon versions. No, stop. That's alright, the bracket's going to be open again soon. Uh, also, have, I haven't seen the sprites for this game specifically, but looking at the sprite sheets uh, for the Gen 3 ones, uh, it, they gen, like, they're, if they have multiple evolutions, they age when they evolve. Ah, mashed A, mashed B, mashed B, you fool. There we go. Yeah, if you don't know, you can press, you can ma you can get through the conversation with B and it doesn't actually start the, uh, um, conversation loop again. So I hope when Turtwig evolves into whatever, Grothel, I think, um, the sprite problem is fixed. Oh, right, I was going to... Uh, if I'm looking down, by the way, it's because I'm playing with the keyboard on my lap, which is under my computer desk, and I... it's a new keyboard, so I don't know quite where all the keys are on it. Um, so I swear I'm just I'm not just looking down for no reason. Is a Nuzlocke run in this going too far? I mean, technically, I could do a Nuzlocke in this. This is not randomized. It is vanilla. I've just, the, the sprites are just replaced. Um, I, however, have never played Gen 4, so I wouldn't want to do a Nuzlocke without knowing what the Pokemon are like. Or what the game's like. Also, kind of, Nuzlocke's are a lot of grinding. So, I'd, I mean... I'm not saying no to doing a Nuzlocke on stream. I'm going to run because there's a trainer up here, which will give me way more experience than the Shinx. Uh, it's just not right now. You're a Pokemon trainer, and so am I. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Ah, Yoda. Also, if anyone's interested, there is a ROM hack of Pokemon Red that adds all of the Pokemon, Pokemon and types and moves up to Gen 6 into Pokemon Red. Uh, uh, so I could play that on stream if people are interested enough to do that as a, as a goal. You can randomize that as well. So I, I would definitely randomize that because I've played Red so many times. And I've played Gen... I haven't played Gen 6, but I've played Gen 5 enough to know those mons and 1, one 2, and 3. Give me the experience! Yeah. Hell yes. Too strong, too strong. Cash and Arceus are dead. <laughs> you won't. Is that even in Platinum without go an event? Don't be shy about talking to trainers you like to battle. Pokemon grow stronger and stronger from battling. You know, I've played enough games to realize that I don't have to talk to trainers. They will talk to me. Trainer tips or Pokemon that are involved in a battle earn X points. The more your Pokémon battle, the stronger they will become. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. No. Oh, I guess I don't have a problem. I don't have a qu uh, uh, An opinion. There we go. Hey, Brackets, this sounds like a job for you to do. Yeah, it is. Have the Sinnoh Pokemon list next to me. Oh, cool. In universe where human slavery is very real, I'll absolutely be shy about talking to strangers, sir. That is very true. Uh, where did my thing go? Uh, is Arceus in the national decks? I assume it's in the national decks. 
Or is it the same? Oh, hey, region map. Cool. Uh, Sinnoh Pokédex. There we go. Uh, Gratina. Garatina. Arceus isn't in my strategy guide decks. Interesting. Uh, brackets will tackle again. Do 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 do. Hell yeah, level nine. Absorb. That was neither Vine Whip nor Leech Seed. I have grass on my face. Oh, boo! I lost. My Pokemon are all took it out. I need to go to Pokemon Center. Well, move then. But you never will. They'll just be unconscious for the rest of the game, which is probably going to take about 40 hours knowing my play of time for um, Pokemon games. So they're going to be there for a while, just unconscious in their ball. P Again, that is P-O-K accent E ball. Spelling with bubbles. Hey, fight me. Music's pretty catchy. Let's have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> but I'm going to win. Oh, are you? Youngster Logan sent out Burmy. Okay. We all love a good e-ball. You know what? We do all love a good e-ball. <laughs> that girl just wearing leaves. If I had to guess, book type. Hell yeah, Molly. You beat me? You've got talent. I very much did not beat you. I'm a grown-ass man and you are a child. I do not beat children. There's some battling. Yep, I'm going to battle everyone. <laughs> Good luck with that, Logan. Jubilife is up. And... Some Pokemon only appear in the morning. Some only come out at night. I'll keep looking until I've seen them all. Oh, God. Luckily, I'm not doing a 100% completion. You sure about that? That I don't beat children? I try not to. Please don't fight me, Lucas. I really could do the healing. Hey, Ryder, how many Pokemon have you caught? Huh, I think you should catch some more. I have more of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you'll be. I mean, the more subscribers I have, the happier I'll be, but there we go. Mostly just for the financial security. I'm loving the community side of Twitch. Which is why I do this. Hey, that's right. Don't you think it's best to know more about Pokemon? Sure it is. There's this great place for that. Come on, it's all right. Follow me. I thought it was moonwalking then. Has anyone worked out the exchange around Pokeboks? I feel like $80 is more than a 10-year-old should have on them. The best of it is when you beat the shit out of a preschooler's Pokemon. And they give you money for it. Already just killed 20 baby stars. You know, you're right about that. That guy! What's he doing? I was like, what guy? The old guy? Oh, wait, no. Lucas, uh, excuse... What? Mysterious man. How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the international police? Well, one, you're not wearing a mask, dude. Huh? What? Are you kidding? I was just making small talk. Heh, <laughs> you claim you were only making conversation, do you? But I know better not to believe that. No, no, no. You recognized right away that I was someone extraordinary. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Yeah, I've got keen eyes. You get it? Because that's, that's my Starly's ability. That's a Pokemon ability pun. Quite admirable you are. Now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am a globe-trotting elite of the international police. My name. Ha. <laughs> 
No. I shall inform you only of my code name. My code name. It is Looker. It is what they all call me. It's ironic because I'm not one. Incidentally, it's is the saying, don't be a thief familiar to you. No, it is not. No, you claim to not know it. How could that be? He's one over eccentric dude. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Perhaps your mama has said it, but you've forgotten it like usual. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't bring my mom into this. Pretty sure she's banging Chat's mom now that we've both left home and there's no one else in Twinleaf that apparently owns a house. Now listen, my friends, it is wrong to take what belongs to others. Unfortunately, there are apparently... What am I even saying? I'm just trying to be entertaining. Is it sort of working? Unfortunately, there are apparently those who don't, do not heed those words. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. Also in Kanto. In Johto. Unova. Twice, actually, in Unova. Wherever the Coliseum games are set. It's actually a really big problem, Pokemon Theft. You attach your mama, brackets destroy. <laughs> Definitely. I have, therefore, been on the lookout. Oh, that's where his name comes from. For characters arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you're trainers, yes? Yeah, with a capital T. Perhaps you can make use of this. I obtained the verse recorder. That verse recorder, it is a nifty device for recording a match. I can't wait to never use it. I obtained it because it is quite popular these days. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to level with you, chat. And looker, because he's raised the point. So, you remember like in the late 90s when, when Pokemon cards were super... Late 90s and the noughties when Pokemon cards were like super popular. Guess who bought their first deck the day before they became A, unpopular, and B, banned at their school? Anyway, I obtained it because it's quite popular these days, but myself, I do not do Pokemon battling very often. It'll be in better hands with you. Here, I got this thing because it's popular, but I'm never going to use it so you can have it. Also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk to me, for I'm on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may speak to me. I'm so dreadfully lonely. You must. Not because I'm lonely. No, no. <laughs> got there. I got there first, dude. You must inform me of bad guys. You must inform me of any happenings. Working for the International Police sounds hard. Right, here we are. This is the trainer school. The name says it all. Your pal chat went in early. He might still be studying in there. Okay, see you around. Peace. Got me right in the fields. Looker, don't say that. <laughs> I know how Looker feels. Right, can I go in any... No. That's the answer to that question. I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. I made my Pokemon hold an item before trading it. Hey, can I... That will make the other trainer double happy. Can I, like, break your neck? Oh, no, you actually turn around. Cool. Do, 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 do. You know how Pokemon have types like water, fire, and grass? Well, all types have strengths and weaknesses against other types. Good talk, kid. Good talk. In the union room upstairs, you can chat and trade with other people. I haven't been outside the house in over three months. Do other people even exist? And that's not all you can do. Check it out. That was an imperative, not a superlative. Gotcha. Can <laughs> I break your neck? Shame. Uh, you can still catch a Pokemon if you have already have six traveling with you. It automatically gets sent to the PC network in Pokemon centers. Knowing that, I can keep on catching more and more Pokemon. It'll make it more fun to check the PC in any Pokemon center. Oh, right. That reminds me. Um, do I have free shit? No, I guess I don't even have item storage. Okay. Look, I, I have to ask these questions, Blackout Cloud, okay? I have to ask these questions. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tied Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Um, because, like, if I didn't ask the questions, then the entertainment wouldn't be... What little entertainment is here wouldn't be here. Press B so I don't stop the conversation again. I, uh, would, could not explain to you how happy I was when I discovered you can press B in conversations to continue them. Hello, trainer. Do you know much about Pokemon? Yes. You're gonna tell me anyway. I know how these games work. 
Ah, I see you are knowledgeable. I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit the training school then, but do visit if you have the time. You may discover something new. Okay, set six Pokeballs in my belt. Yeah, that'll do it. And most of you can have six Pokemon with you. Seven. A boy Arceus. Always with me. You're killing too many people. First the babies, now this, you hellish beast. You know I might have a problem. Potions are important, but sometimes it's better to avo simply avoid battles. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon for a while, just use a repel. After all, if you don't battle, Pokemon can't lose HP. Oh man, I wasted money on some Pokeballs. I should have loaded the HP of wild Pokemon more before throwing them. The one thing you must remember is to pack some potions. If all your Pokemon fainted, we lights out for you too. Yeah, I play super cautiously, so I probably won't need to use any, apart from the Elite, the elite 4, and even then I'll try to get to level 60. Hey, you won't let me leave, will you? Nope. Go big. Big brain, no killing babies. Hello, my friend. Have you visited the trainer school? Did your friend not guide you there earlier? I see. I think the game might want me to go to the trainer school. Jubilife is apparently the city of joy also. Condemonians. Tenants wanted. Just enter the condemonium, buy one. Condemonium, buy one, and then um, that's the rest of the game. So I just swap over to playing The Sims. Oh, hello, darlings. Isn't my Poke Etch quite fetching? It's the latest design that just came out. I obtained it instantly, of course. Train would be simply lost without a Poke Etch after all. Oh, hey, Pachirisu. Oh, your Pokemon is quite adorable. Here, try making it hold this Quick Claw. Hell yeah, Quick Claw. Equip that on, t on brackets right away. Because I'm assuming Brackets is like pretty much every other grass type apart from Rowlet. Love Rowlet. Um, in that it's super slow but super tanky. Did you buy some heal balls at the Pokemart? A heal ball completely heals the Pokemon it captures on the spot. That means you can catch your Pokemon and have it battle ready right away. Of course if your team has six Pokemon in it, in it, it won't do any good. I have I have genuinely never needed to use a heal ball. I've never bought one. I like how Pokemon can use attacks. That makes things fun and different. As opposed to what? Aggressive cuddling? Sometimes when they get stronger, Pokemon learn new moves. That keeps things fresh and fun when using moves. Okay. Hiya, where'd you come from? Twin Leaf Town hurts. Nice place, quite and all. Jubilife City is a big place, so it might be, might be a bit of a shock to you. No, I just want to read the sign. Let's just say Jubilife again. Oh, weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Come and have a go if you're hard enough. I should have saved. Whoops. Last Sarah. What have you got? A Shinx? Oh, that's fine. Less than fine, actually, because you probably got Intimidate. You do not have Intimidate. You're going down. People don't mind me talking to everyone, by the way, but like someone went to the effort of programming that conversation. I feel it's kind of rude just to ignore them like some streamers do. Oh, I should have said no. Probably. Oh, you're so mean. I just started training Pokemon. Okay. That's a root marker. Root to afford Jubilife. I'll beat you with the magic art my dad gave me. Oh no, not the wet fish. No, not the wet fish. No, stop. Uh. Also, your dad gave you a magic art. I think he hates you. Did that magic up just teabag? Do 
Yes, yes, it did. Hell yeah, level 9 on my, on my stolly. Molly grew to level 9. And wing attack, hell yeah. Flying move. But their Pokemon I got from my dad. You got one Magikarp from your dad. Again, pretty sure that means he hates you. Uh, I guess I'll keep Molly out until level 10. Uh, I just run from this. Uh, sorry, run. I could use the cursor on the bottom screen, but... Eh. Eh. Too much effort. May I please trouble you for a battle? No, you may not. No, I guess go ahead then. Last Samantha sent out Budgie. Okay, Budgie was adorable. Unfortunately, I have a flying move now. Super effective. Oh, you're so strong. Cool. Good talk. Maybe I could have won if my Pokemon was holding a berry. Uh, unless it was a one-up Phoenix down berry? Probably not. The Ravaged Path. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cabin. I think a Pokemon's hidden move we were able to smash those boulders. No. Oh, some kind of, like, pebble-breaking move? Grab this item. Do do You know what, I may as well. I may as well just try to get to level 10 here. Really? That's gotta be one hit point, right? I tackle you to death. Do 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 do. Hell yeah, level 10. What is this item? A Parler's Heal. I never understood. I've never understood why they call it Parler's Heal unless items have a character limit in their name. Certainly in the later games. Look, it's my face. It's ugly. Because I'm not... Anyway, moving on. Oh, hey, it's Budu. Would you really want to die? Okay, so the Ravaged Path is that way, blocked off by Rock Smash. That's a clown. Chad, you like clowns? Jubilife TV, the Funny Games TV station. Hi there, you should stick around. We're doing a Poke Edge campaign soon. Before it starts, I think you should brush up at the training school. You know I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that they want me to go to the training school. Did you see me on TV? I was in an interview. I did not. I did not watch TV. Hi, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to do it? join? Info. When you when you form a... Yeah, union room stuff. Cool. Uh, the answer to this question is... Yes, I'm desperately lonely, but no, because I, I'm not playing online. Jubilife City is built on land they carved out to a mountain. People in Pokemon of Orberg City helped out with that undertaking. Well, that sounds like a rock town. When you walk with your Pokemon, they gradually grow friendlier. Okay. Hey, there's a Pokeball in Alley. Does anyone mind if I take it? I got a potion. I got an Alley potion. It's the best kind of potion. Uh, Poke H Company. Pokemon watches for the world. P O K accent E T C H. Oh, you can be sure I'll keep up developing Poke H apps. Just like Pokemon, my Poke H is something that evolves. 
Welcome to the Poke H Company. Poke H. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressive. Well, that's actually pretty impressive. In this economy? Hey, do you watch TV? Poke H Detective is a great show. Seeing that program compels me to use my Poke H more. Advertising! It works. We'll try to think like a trainer and find what Poke H apps would be good. Pokemon Watch, that's Poke H for short. Say it the long way, and what does Pokemon stand for again? Pokemon Monsters. Pokemon Monsters. <laughs> Rewind, redo, redo. Pocket Monsters. Or Poke H, I guess. I don't understand why they, why they put the, the acute E in. Anyway, I'm the father of the president of the Poke H company. Don't mind me, just being an idiot. My husband's the president. We started out in a small workshop where he made what he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. That's what I'm trying to do here as well. Do you have a Poke H? There's a girl's model and the boy's model, each in different colours. I bet one's blue and one's pink. People everywhere everywhere make, make Poke H apps. You'll be able to get new apps from surprising sources. The PCs here have guides on the various Poke H apps. Yeah, I don't actually have one though, so... You know what? Better have to go to the train school first. I spoke to you, and this is the Jubilife sign. Yep. Or Jubilife, I, but it's Jubilation, so I guess Jubilife. Route 218 is up, up, up ahead. It's a great fishing hole. It's almost unknown to people. Yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Yes. Get on so we can be friends. Here you go, that's my old rod. Do I want a Magikarp? I was thinking I might use a Gen... I'm, tr I'm going to try to stick to Gen 4 Pokemon where possible. Should fish where there is body of water. And by the way, did you need any tips on using that fishing rod? Yes. First you face any body of water, then use your fishing rod. Next you focus. If a Pokemon bite... <laughs> appears. That's your cue to reel it in. Two eighteen Carnalave. Hey, there's cookies, right? Carnalave, Orberg, through the rice past a Floroma. Flow aroma, Turner, Heart Home, Mount Coronet, Celestic, Celestion, Pastoria. I assume that's the Elite Four. Yep. Valor Lakefront, Veilstone, Fight Area, Battle Frontier, Survival. Oh, that's the post game stuff, isn't it? The Battle Frontier. Or whatever. Anyway. What's up here? Snow Point and Lake... Oh, Valor, Acuity, and Verity. Gotcha. I'm assuming there are legendary Pokemon in each lake. Seems like a safe assumption to make. Right, I'm going to save. Got about an hour left, by the way. In the stream. Maybe by that point I'll have gone to the training school. X accuracy. Maybe this time I'll use the X items. I very very rarely use items in battle. I'm like mostly because I grind like crazy, so I usually have an obscene level advantage. Um, who knows? I might not do that this time. Although, as I said, if I, as I said, if I do grind, it won't be on stream. Hey, are you going to tell me to go to the training school? Past here is the global terminal, your gateway to the world. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have any gym badges. Get wrecked. The global terminal is off limits if you don't have any gym badges. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. Guess I'll go to the training school then. Oh, there's chat. There you are, chat. We learned about Pokemon types today. And grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. Cool. Doing is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Yes. Go, my Pokemon. Go! Challenged by School Kid Harrison. And that's Dolly. Go, brackets. Okay, so Absorb's going to do basically nothing. I guess I'll just tackle. I might have to use Withdraw.
Ah, uh, that's fine. There is a smidge of a level difference, I suppose. Almost, almost to level 10. Hmm, didn't use, uh, didn't use those items effectively. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may we battle? I need to try the things I learned before I forget them. Might go and heal up after this, just in case chat decides to turn around and have a fight with me. School Creek Christine. Hey, that's a car name. Bidoof. I'm going to assume that you're going to use X Defend. Or not. Wow. Absorb is kind of pants still, huh? I mean, I'm not actually taking any damage, so there's that. We're at a damage neutral state. Just crit. Just crit. I could just tackle at this point. So if I had to guess, Absorb's power is like 20. Also level 10. What? What? I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. You and me both, Christine. You and me both. We were actually confident that we would do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like to talk to my friend and get a nice item from him. Whew, you're really good. You, we've been studying every day, but we were no match for you at all. You'd be able to make... You'd be able to use this potion properly. Here you go. Obtain potion. When a potion is used, it restores the HP, the health of a Pokemon. Being a good trainer isn't only about ordering your Pokemon around. A superior trainer knows how to use items to the full advantage. Just want to check if my guess was correct. Yep, base power 20. Can't miss... Well, accuracy of 100, though. Oh, why is my attack higher than my special attack and I have a grass type? Hopefully there are physical grass, grass moves. I will also do a safe state. It's been a while and obviously sometimes ROMs crash. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes a true Pokemon trainer. Okay. It's a notebook filled with writing. Let's see. Pokemon are to be caught using Pokeballs. Gotcha. Up to six Pokemon can accompany a trainer. Also gotcha. A trainer is someone who catches Pokemon, raises them, and battles with them. A trainer's mission is to defeat the strong trainers who await challenges in Pokemon gyms. That's an essay, huh? Cool. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with man-made items like potions and antidotes. Give me them berries! Or an extra tank. It's perfectly fine for trainers and Pokemon to develop at their own pace. If there is anything you're not familiar with, you can look it up here. Hey Ryder, did you come study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So Ryder, what brings you? Huh? You got something for me? I delivered the parcel. So what is this? Score! It's a town map! I heard why they're two in here. I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Ryder, you take one. Okay. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. The blackboard, this status changes the Mayfair Pokemon Battle, which should... Oh, that's fine. Uh, damage over time. Damage over time lowers attack. You may, you may not move... You, you may not attack, sorry. Uh, your speed lowers and you may not do anything. And you are asleep for two to five turns. Gotcha. Oh, that there was a man in a purple suit. Uh, well, a person in a purple suit waiting for me. 
I would very much like to rest my Pokemon. I pressed B. A through the first conversation, B through the second part of the conversation. Do I get a poke edge now? Oh, oh, oh! P, P, P! You call yourself a Pokemon trainer and yet you have no poke edge? That is Pokemon Watch or poke edge for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture poke edges. Not only that, I'm now conducting the poke edge promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. What, what if what if the stream is one of them? Does that count? If you can find them, I'll gift you with a poke edge. Okay, well, I know there's one outside of the thing. I guess there isn't one over here. Cool, moving on. Uh, I didn't see one down here. Did I try, did I even go in this building? Well, I didn't, so yay. Hello there, trainer. If you got if you get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see, go places, go wherever you can. You'll find many new places by doing just... Th yeah, chat, if you go places, you'll find new places. That's as stupid as we stopped testing for Corona COVID-19 because we kept finding infections. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures, but to trainers, the key thing is to do battle with their Pokemon. That's what it boils down to. Hey, real talk, when are, the, when are we getting another Pokemon Ranger game? Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they can take on completely different forms. Evolution makes Pokemon just that much more fascinating. The mysteries of evolution. Can that dandy Prof Rowan unravel them? Didn't Prof Rowan conduct research with Prof Oak of the Kanto region? Probably. That's what they say. Okay, clowns, clowns. If I were a clown, where would I be? Well, here's one of them. Hi, I'm a Poke H campaign, ca campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining experience points? Yes. Ding, ding, you're absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even grow into an entirely different form in a process known as evolution. It's technically metamorphosis, but there we go. Here you go, your Poke H coupon. I obtained coupon one. Is there an item down here? Nope. Okay, clown number two. I guess there's that one. Hi, I'm a Poke H campaign clown. That's wrong, my question. Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types. Yeah, some of them like, you know, smart. Some of them suave. Some of them, for no apparent reason, really like Sean Connery. Which the voice, isn't it? Ding ding, you're absolutely correct. If the Pokemon's type matches its moves type, that move is made much more powerful. It's not, it's a 0.5 increase. Are you actually the third clown, or are you just kind of clowning around? <laughs> Please don't leave. Oh no, you're the third clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes! A Pokemon may hold a single item. Uh, items with partners, fiancés, or other do not apply. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during the battle. Here you go, your coupon. Oh, whoops. Right, gotcha. P berries eaten. Mmm, food is good. I didn't bring a snack up with me. I'm gonna starve. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll use the poke H here to count up to three, huh? Cool. One, two, three. Bravo, I say. Bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you this Pokemon Watch, or poke H for short. Hey, I think poke H might be Pokemon Watch. You can add apps to your Poke to make it even more versatile. Touch the Poke H screen and find the apps that are right for you. Yeah, but... Oh, it lights up. Wait, the DS screen was illuminated. Why would you need... Why would you need that? Okay, so that's, that's pretty obviously a calculator. What's this? 
step counter. Cool. I guess if you're doing eggs and things. Uh, that's my team. I might leave it on that. Yeah, let's leave it on that. So that y'all can see what my team is. Still can't go in there. Now I haven't... Now I have one. Does talk to this guy give me anything? Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Poketch company. I'm developing a new Poketch app. It's not quite done. My guess is that it'll be ready when you get a gym badge. Gee, that's... That's really specific. Guess I'll come back then. Okay, so running is twice as fast. It's just super slow at the same time. Can I leave now? I can. Cool. Okay. Hey, Ryder, tell me you got a little tougher. Uh, chap, got a little tougher. Me? Do you need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. Okay. Bring it. Chat, your happy dance is weird. Go, brackets. This is a less than ideal situation, but you are a physical attacker. Great. Great. Oh, hang on. Does flying resist grass? I know it's super effective against, but does it resist? One way to find out. Yes, yes it does. Cool. Stop growling, chat. I try to be entertaining, okay? Don't get cocky, this isn't over yet. I'm not cocky, I'm bored. Oh, it's the quick claw. That's what it is. Okay, absorb is actually way more. Absorb does more damage now. Cool, cool. I'm gonna slowly leech your life, chat. Except it's not leech life, it's absorb. Um, I, 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 we're here for a while, I guess. I mean, I could swap out, but really, I'm I'm committed at this point. How much PP does Growl have? Like thirty. Cool, I'm doing two damage to you every time. Or three, and it's just rounding down to one. Well, this is a thrilling match. Don't growl. Don't growl. You didn't growl. I, I appreciate that. Doing me a solid there, chat. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on to... I am definitely changing Pokemon. Uh, yes. Got a bot to the music. Music slaps. And wing attack. You know what? Let's do it again. My Pokemon's getting low on HP. Things could be tight here. Yeah. Tight. Totally. I'm in so much danger of losing this. I crit. It's all over. What just happened? I lost? Right again, 900 Poke books. We'll go with Poke books. Wow, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. Uh, chat, I can assure you, it probably is not. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I also assume, based on the name of the gym, that I might have a slight type advantage here. I'm going to toughen up for that, totally. 
Uh, to Jubilife. Yeah, or I could not. Anything new in this patch of grass? I feel like that sprite is a bit far down, but I don't know. Right, train of battle. That's where all the experience is at. I get my get up and go for my Pokemon. Here we go, Cricketot and Zubat. They don't sound like they have much get up and go. One sounds annoying, the other one sounds like a bug. Here's some Michael sent out Cricketot. Okay, that's that's definitely a bug. But oh wait, I'm grass. Uh, peace out. I'm not misremembering. Bug is super effective against grass, right? Pointless question, because that's super effective. 2.5 times damage? Hell yeah, level 11. Uh, I'll keep that one. The odds of it having... Oh my god. Okay, they made a vampire moe. Am I using Moe in the correct way there? Oh no, Leech Life, the horror. I like how Zubat's call has, hasn't changed, like, ever. Ack! My Pokémon! Yeah, you get up and goes, goes and gone, because I put them in the ground. Keep out of the grass or dodge the eyes of trainers. I always have a tough time choosing. I don't. The experience is the trainers. Your favourite Pokemon should be placed at the top left of your party list. That way it will be the first to go out in a battle. Cool. But like, ground item? Sweet free Pokeball. I'm up to 10, I believe now. Okay. Fight me. I'm never apart from my Shinx, our bond is strong. I'm about to break that bond. Irrevocably. Youngster Dallas sent out Shinx. At least I'm not doing a randomizer, in which case this would almost definitely not be a Shinx. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, Tackle does more damage, but this gives me health back. Okay, you're gonna be like that, huh? I see how it is. Oh, sweet, quick claw. I could Google it, but does anyone know the uh, the rate of quick claw activation? I don't know the percentage chance of me going first is. There's the tackle, this is gonna hurt. Ah, uh, not as bad as I thought it would. Two in a row is kind of annoying. One health, really. Let's just tackle and be done with it. Hell yeah, Brackets, getting to level 11. You did good. So sad, and so crushed. Yeah, but I got 120 Poké books for winning, so there's that. I don't beg Ridges over losing, but I promise I'll get tougher. Right, before I go up the stairs, is there anything over here? There's a sign. Trainer tips, Pokémon moves use energy called Power Points, or PP for short. The PP of moves runs low, head for any Pokémon center. Gotcha. I meant to do to step right in front of them, but clearly mistimed it. Before I challenge the Pokemon gym leader, I'll test my strength on you. Bring it. What you got? 
You have a Machop. That's an interpretation of Machop, I'll give you that. Apparently everything has Leer. My defense is just gone. So I'll uh, I'll be honest. When I was you know when I was younger, when I was playing the games the first time, probably up until halfway through Gen two, um, I totally thought that the you know Leer, Growl, whatever the effects lasted throughout the rest of the game. I didn't realize they reset at the end of the battle or when you swapped out. Cause. I was an idiot as a child, and I'm still an idiot now. Hell yeah, crit. I guess he means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Probably not, no, although you have the right type. I guess if you don't have a single gym badge, you're a total nobody. Huh? Who, who just spoke? I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. You've got to move for the Pokemon to attack you? I mean, I guess you're spinning, but you have to leave that po Oh, Caitlyn has four Pokemon. Bidoof! Less concerned about her number of Pokemon now. Because I'm assuming that Bidoof is a physical defense. I mean, it's also level four. It doesn't really matter. Right, yeah, I'm just going to tackle you. Oh, my neck is so stiff. So stiff, so stiff slash stiff. Look at you, brackets. Look at you, brackets, getting those levels. Yes, I'll switch. Lacking either Borg or Poison moves. Time for a wing attack. Feel kind of bad, but you're super cute. Uh, I guess I'll just keep battling. Oh, right, they're low level. I could have stayed in. Never mind. I could have put brackets back in, sorry. Never mind. Abra. Uh, you know what? We'll get this. We'll, we'll get Molly to level twelve. Unfortunately, Abra, you, you you get sneezed on and you die. So goodbye. Yeah. Hmm? You're finished so soon? Were you not watching when I beat your Pokemon? I walk through tall grass until I find the Pokemon I want. Generally how that works, yes. Wow, Bidoof appeared. Imagine how much I care about Bidoof at this point. Fight me! I got a nifty, keen gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. You know what? I bet you won't be anywhere near the level I need to be to beat the gym, le gym leader. Side duck. I guess feasibly, if it is a rock type gym, and you have water gun, maybe. Uh, if I play this again, by the way, randomized and stuff, I probably won't talk to everyone. Or I'll, you know, make a note to the people to talk to with my strategy guide, with my strategy guide, just for items and things. Just speed things up a little and mash through the text and whatnot. But as this is basically blind... Oh, I lost. La 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 la. I say basically blind, I did, I have played like half of this before, not Platinum, uh, I think it was Diamond, 
but it was at university and I was stre super stressed with exams and I remember nothing about it. I'm collecting lots of gym badges, they're so sparkly and pretty. You know who else is sparkling pretty? It's you, chat. It's you. The only thing I remember is that there are loads of tier of HMs. Like, far more than you would ever need. Or there sh than there should be in a game. X defend. Bidoof again. Maybe I should buy repels. Maybe I should get some repels next time I'm in a Pokemon. Repel! Convenient. Unfortunately, I'm going into a cave, and I want to see if there's anything I want to catch in the cave, so... Oh, hang on, I should, I should check out the old rod, see if there's anything but Magikarp I can catch with it. Bag. Medicine, Pokeball, TMHM, berries, mail, battle item, key items. There we go. Landed a Pokemon. Is it a Magikarp? It's a Magikarp. I figured as much, just wanted to check. It'd be rude not to put the fish out of its misery at this point. I've already, you know, hooked it, pulled it out of the water. Anyway. Orberg. Uh, let's save the game. Both in-game and save state. And I think it was sh shift one for the save state. Oh, shift and F1. Uh, let's alternate between zero and one. Orberg gate. That sparkling new Poke H, your awkwardness as a traveller. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, you're a new fellow friend of Pokemon, so let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. Obtained HM06. I'm gonna say that's Rock Smash. A hidden machine, or HM for short, contains the hidden move Rock Smash. A Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field, but the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Can either of my mons learn Rock Smash? Also, is Rock Smash good in this game? Eh, 40 is okay, I guess. It's slightly better than Tackle. Okay, Brackets can learn it if needs be. But I'm hoping to get a new Mon soon. Sorry, a new Moe soon. Oh, look, a Zubat. <laughs> Right, I'm in a cave. Why would there not be two in a cave? Honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised. We trainers will accept challenges anyway. It's what we do. Challenge by Camper Curtis. Camper Curtis sent out Stolly. Go, brackets. Tackle. Hell yeah, Quick Claw. Please don't growl. Please don't do it. So close. God damn that growl.
Shinx, uh, no. Please don't have Intimidate. Soften Shinx up with a couple of tackles and then maybe go for the Absorb. Definitely go for the Absorb. I have to uh, go for the swap out Molly soon. Let's uh, swap Molly in, sorry. Well, that answers my question as to whether Quick Claw can trigger and you can miss. Didn't even have to ask. The game was like, yeah, F you. Hell yeah, at all. Also level 13. Very nice. Razor Leaf. Hell yeah, high crit chance. Stab move. It's insufficiently raised. Uh, I'm assuming... Please tell me Razor Leaf is a physical move. Oh, it's a physical move as well. Right, let's... Uh... There we go. Pokemon can appear anywhere in a cave. It's not like the tall grass by the roads. No, I got that. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle with you. Well, one, you haven't actually got through the cave yet, have you? You're standing by the exit. And two, sure. Challenged by Picnic Diana, sent out Bidoof. Go brackets. Brackets, I'm gonna have to ask you to raise a leaf. Please crit, please crit, please crit, please crit, please crit. Didn't crit, but it did a decent amount of damage. Cool, good fight. Well, I guess losing is something to commemorate too. Congrats on getting through the cave. I got you an unconscious Bidoof. Getting through that cave feels like an adventure. I mean, it's a straight path for now, anyway. Obviously, they can come back with a rock smash. Orberg City, City of Energy. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. Cool, take me to the Pokemon gym. Oh, Chad, it's you. Huh, there's someone there? Yeah, it's Chad. Don't you know? Chat, huh? Oh, it's you, Ryder. You finally got here? You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough, like seriously serious. Yeah, I'd hate to be amusingly amusing. If the uh, gym leader's this tough, I wonder how he can pass my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. Cool. I'm going to talk to everyone first, then. Uh, the gym leader went off to work in the mine. There are TMs that single use only, but HMs can be used over and over. It's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. Uh, when I run around with my running shoes on, I'm the center of attention. At least that's what it feels like. There's always someone looking at me. I mean, there's always, hopefully, someone looking at me as well, so I know that feeling. Rourke is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. Uh, one sec. Sorry about that. Rock is usually of rock type Pokemon. Don't you think rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lumpy they are. Yeah, that's nice and lumpy, I guess. Uh, up ahead, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. Everyone's proud of the mine. They're digging for coal under the sea as we speak. It's amazing how they do it. Oh, so that's the mine down there, I guess. Heal my mons while I'm here. Also, I guess walk into the, wall, the door of the door frame a few times. Uh, hmm, what or who is this Team Galactic? They make wonderful claims of a dream energy source on one hand, but rumor has it they steal Pokemon from others by force. I'm waiting for an on the other hand for that to be grammatically correct. It's a mystery. They're mysterious. Isn't anyone investigating them? Well, no, because it's a mystery. Uh, yeah, I got a pal pad at the Pokemon Wi-Fi club downstairs. Cool. 
Cool, you have a verse recorder. So, did, did you go to the global terminal in Jubilife City? Did you? Did you? No. You know how you can battle a friend using wireless communications? Well, now you can capture it as a battle video using a verse recorder. Switch on the PC editor in Pokemon Center. Connect to Zorn's PC and access the Pokemon storage system. It's all you need to do to store or bring out your Pokemon. Um, what is your favorite kind of trainer? Can you tell me? Which kind of trainer would you like to be? Lady. I assume that's for the uh, online stuff for your sprite uh, avatar. I mean. Heal my mons, please. Or two of them. Only one of which will probably get used in the gym fight ahead. But first I have people to talk to. Natural time capsules buried many, many years ago. That's what fossils are. Yeah, but fossils are super cool. They rock. Hi, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Why not try training in the Oberg Mine? Oh, great, it's a cave as well. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. Okay. I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. So ideally, my Turtwig will be level 15 or 16 for the gym. Mostly because, obviously, Starly's not going to do anything in the gym. Wow, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. Seeing that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. I got a great ball. Great. You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. Pretty sure great ones are pretty great. The Orberg Mine is operated with utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. Coal is carried out of Orberg Mine on a fully automated system. Machines do all the work automatically, so it's all very easy. That generally is what automated means, yes. If you've been here since the beginning, shout out to you. You're a trooper. If you're watching this on YouTube, shout out to you. You're a trooper. What is this building? I'm assuming museum. Mining museum. Coal mining and you. Mining must take a strong mind, not just a tough body. Think about it. You're in darkness digging desperately through rock. It's really fun though, potholing. Uh, it's a little far from here, but there is a city called Eternia City, or Eterna City. I've heard a curious person named the Underground Man lives there. With a name like that, he must be an authority on the underground. Four men. One of the two. Hello, welcome to the Ulberg Mining Museum. Uh, hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils I can extract Pokemon, but not yet. Not yet. Shout out to Lord Helix. Uh, whoa, this, so this is coal? I never expected something this big. And that colour, it really is as black as they say. Yeah, it's as black as coal. Wow, the Pokemon that carry this must be terribly strong. Probably. That lack of a snack is making itself known. Well, how about that? The Oldberg mine extends under the sea under the sea floor. How coal is made? One. Oh, chat. Science. We're going to learn. In a time long before history, vegetative matter was swept along by rain and rivers. It came to be buried under the ground. How coal is made? Two. The buried plant matter was forced ever deeper under the ground due to tremors and fissures caused by the shifting land masses. How coal is made three. Deep under the ground, the plant matter was subjected to heavy pressure and the heat of magma gradually turned into coal. Which, if you ask me, is pretty coal. Yeah, pun. I do not know what's going to be today. D&D later is going to be super weird. Different kinds of lamps are displayed. They appear to have been worn on someone's head while underground. Badly scarred wooden tools are displayed. They apparently dug out coal using these tools in the old days. The everyday items and tools of past mine workers are displayed. The history of Orberg Mine. Uh, you could call it a history of effort and friendship between people and Pokemon. The, po the box contains categorized samples of coal. Samples of coal from different regions are displayed. Because different coals burn with different purities, different um, have different hardness and stuff as well, I believe. Okay, so this is a root. I assume it's blocked off by looks like a bike thing. I saw those berry trees up there that I can't get to yet. Oh, I get <laughs> so he captured my chop. 
Uh, you know what? Let's just run. As I say, I'm trying to stick to Gen 4 Mon. So... Like, I could catch him a chop and just teach it Rock Smash, I guess. Geodude is so adorably amazing. Unfortunately, not Gen 4. But I might have to catch a Machop or a Geodude just to teach it Rock Smash. And then replace it at some point. This is super early in the game to get a Ponyta. Ponyta, Ponyta. Can't escape. Pretty sure I can. There we go. Chop again. Got away safely. Hey kid, you can tell me about the bike thing? Slope's too slippery, you'll need a bike to get up. You don't have a bicycle, there's a cycle shop in Eternal City. I appreciate you're not a kid, I do apologize. So we've got Machop and Ponyta over there. And Geodude, obviously. Uh, Rourke is used use of rock type Pokemon. Don't you think rock type? Oh, nice and lumpy, cool. I like other nice and lumpy things. I'm not like rock type Pokemon are okay, I guess, but there are better types. The Pokemon is staffed by a lady and a young fellow. They offer different kinds of merchandise. Did you know? Badges that Pokemon gyms give you a measure of a trainer's worth by giving more badges, you get to buy more items and Pokemon. Aha! It is exactly like that. Time is it? We've got about half an hour or so left. Maybe I'll get through the gym in that time. Uh, when you trade a Pokemon, the item it's holding is traded as well. That's pretty cool. Her it means you can send an item as a gift along with your Pokemon in a trade. Listen, listen. Do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? I don't have one, but it's tempting. But your Abra will probably have a nickname that sucks and will grow too quickly. Pokemon attended trade grows quickly, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it may ignore the trainer. Of course, it won't matter if you have lots of gym badges. Well, I do make it a point to catch psychic types usually. Trading is sometimes a bum deal. All Pokemon have a special power called an ability. They do. My Pokemon ability my favorite Pokemon ability is my Pachirisu's pickup. Okay, story time. Um, Pickup is a really apt ability for Pachirisu. Sorry, I'll get through this first. My darling picks up a lot of drop types without me noticing because obviously Pickup in like Western English has a connotation of, hey, I got a partner from a line. Um, I proposed with a Pachirisu plush. So pickup is oddly apt. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The view is good from the second floor, but it's a pain going outside. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Geodude? Uh, sure, I can catch a Geodude. I guess maybe we'll find out on Tuesday when I play this next. Uh, Rock lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. That doesn't sound safe. A gym leader isn't like just any trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. A lot. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. I mean, they're usually not that tough compared to later trainers, so... There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective for trainers is to get gym badges from them all. That means you have to defeat all of them in battles at their gyms. I wonder if this is randomized if the sprites on the Poke H uh, match up with the sprite with your actual team. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. I got a Dusk Ball. The Dusk Ball is a Pokeball designed for use in darkness. It works better if you use it at night or in a cave. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. Makes you feel as if they're your very own. But he named our Psyduck yellow just because of its colour. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Duck. Sure did call it yellow though. And... 
this fellow. These vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air outside. Looking down them gives me the urge to start yelling into him. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hey, Pikachu. You know how Pokemon have different natures like we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Shinies! Have you ever seen or heard about different colored Pokemon? For instance, a regular Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? Well, a different color Pikachu has a sort of orange body. Yeah, and most Shinies look terrible. Like, horrendously terrible. I don't understand them. Okay, into the mine. Alright. Let's wait for this, this person. Um... Let's just do a save state. Hey, you. Chop, chop, my chop, chop, chop away on rocks. You're taking a tour of our coal mine? Wonderful, that's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. It really is. You should, you should totally try to learn something as often as possible. If you want to do that here, I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to caution you that it may be a mistake, but I'm not going to stop you. Ryan, right, I found a dire hit. That oops, crit chance. This pile of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's the waste from sorted coal. And a yellow shard. Cool. Orberg mine, beware of busy Pokemon. Yeah, but I can totally train in there, so uh, I've also lost over there. there we go. I lost myself behind the terrain. Okay, there are totally going to be trains in here, right? Oh, there we go. I found what I thought was some rocks, and they started moving. There were Pokemon that looked just like rocks. Hey, that's you, dude. Everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to the battles. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Casual, casual violence against 10 year olds. It's so funny. Yeah. Grab the Pokeball. Oh, also wild Pokemon. Well. That is unexpectedly hot. Level 6 though, which is a problem, in terms of experience. Right, fight me. I met these Machop on Route 207, they've now become my most trusted partners. Did you, did you not hear the plot where I said fight me? Fight me, I'm gonna let you, let you in on a secret, I snuck my Pokemon to work. I mean, I was warned that people have their Pokemon in here, so I don't think it's much of a secret. Challenge by work and Mason. Turn up Geodude. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to your Geodude. Razor Leaf. Hey, it missed. Okay, try again. Razor Leaf. Hell yeah. Wow. Well, now aren't you something? Okay, okay. Time for work. I work up a thirst with my Pokemon. I mean, this is a Moemon. Please don't get too thirsty. A lot of the Pokemon so far are very small. Found a potion. Zubat. I like to think of something. Well, thank you, Blackout Cloud. I appreciate it. Also, that Geodude sprite just looks like she's ready to punch someone in the face. Escape rope for when I need to escape out of this awkward conversation. 
Fine, alrighty then, just a quick battle on my break. I mean, you were just staring at the rocks, right? Are you really on break? Worker Colin. What do you got for me, Worker Colin? A Geodude. A level 6 Geodude. Great. Are you an AI? They really are taking over? Would I but would I know if I were an AI? Like if I if if the singularity had happened. Um Like would I would I know? Would I not just believe I'm human? Level 14. Uh yes, actually, because Molly has wing attack. So I want brackets to get to level 15, so there's only a level to, to spend grinding before the before the gym. And what I generally do is I go into the gym and take care of junior trainers first, and then whatever experience I need after that is ground out. So looking at a time, we might be having to end on a grind. Although it should, hopefully it won't take too long. Wahaha, mercy, I cry mercy. Well, maybe I'm not in the mood to grant mercy. Better get back onto work. You haven't, you haven't, uh, actually mercy isn't my safe word, so it's not going to work. You know, I'd rather be traveling around with Pokemon the way you do. Yeah, but you're actually contributing to society. I'm just sitting here playing Pokemon, Pokemon on stream. Exactly, I'd be programmed to believe I'm human, so I wouldn't know if, I, I would not be able to answer the are you an AI question, like truthfully. Or, you know what, I meant to press it up, but there we go. Accurately, let's say. Knowingly, truthfully. That's what I mean. Go, brackets. Since when do mine workers have 360 books on them? I don't know. Since when is it appropriate to challenge random people underground? Say mercy is not your safe word. I actually know someone who's that is that the safe word, creates my word. It, it, yes, it is not my safe word. Stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. Hey, hey, Becky, let me smash. Shout out to that meme. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Peace out. Oh, good. I accidentally caught escape then. It did nothing. Whew. Whew, that was that was almost bad. I would have had to replay the entire mine. I was playing with the keyboard, just was rocking it on my legs. I like how I'm outsped by an onyx. Feels good. Right, how much experience does this give me? A decent amount. So close. You know what? I may as well remove this Geodude from the face of existence as well. Uh, I'll just raise Leaf. You've been robbed. You got three tubes in the four tubes multi pack. Big oof, my friend. Big oof. Um. I have a... Right. If you don't have better TV, TV installed, you'll have to check the street, the stream, the, the chat box on stream for the, the emote. But there you go. You know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go to the gym without healing. Obviously, I'm not gonna take on the gym leader. I'm gonna do what I can to get experience from the junior trainers. Or junior trainer, as the case probably is. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They're also weak to grass-type moves. And fighting. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. So the advice I can give, thanks for listening. Allberg City Pokemon Gym Leader, gym leader Rock Certified Trainers. Chat. Hey, chat. You beat him. Well done. 
You sure it does feel bad? You avoided it the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Oh, I, I want the experience. You are chanced by youngster Jonathan. And that Geodude. Go Brackets! Raise Leaf. I'm assuming Turtwig evolves at level 16. I know Grass types evolve super early. Now I understand why I decided to battle with me. Yeah, I've got this cute girl that just wrecks face. Uh, you should go whichever way you want. Shortcut to the long way. Uh, I want to go the long way. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. That sort of rhymes. You were sort of a poet. Challenged by youngster Darius. Sent out Geodude. Razor Leaf's working so far. Well, I may as well just run up to Rourke now, huh? Battling. I like that the Onyx sprite is comparatively large as well. Also, Blackout. I hope you don't mind me saying Blackout. Referring to as Blackout. Um... Now I really want Smarties, so so thanks for that, I guess. Ugh, this is humiliating. Yeah, you, people are watching you, dude. One day I'm going to become a tough trainer like you. You know what? Let's do it. I got to the level I wanted to. I'm doing okay on health and, and PP. I will 100% forget that we share a name. this a ROM hack? Uh, Pong or Pong, it's... Yes, it, it's just the sprites are, have been ex have been changed. I'm Rourke, the gym leader, but I'm one trainer who decided to walk proudly with a rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon the battle with you. So, there are loads of different Moemon ROM hacks, actually. So, this is just this is just Platinum with, with the sprites changed. Um, but there are some that kind of give you basically an entirely new game. Ah, my eye. What? What's going on with my eye? Also, welcome Pong the Pong. Unfortunately, I've been streaming for another, like, ten minutes. Great. Stealth Rock. If you just hit the Razor Leaf, maybe crit, it will be fine. I guess you don't need to crit. Right. Type advantage. Uh no. Yeah, but there but there are there are some Moemon hacks that say they change all they change all genders to female, they rework certain moves based on the fact that like attract would no longer work, uh, add certain moves, give you um, new mons in old games, that kind of thing. But this is just a straight sprite swap. That was annoying. Please don't. Hell yeah, level 16. I might evolve after- Cranidos? What? I mean, no, but what? That's not what I expected. Is she genuinely leapfrogging? That's really cool. That's really cool. Ow! Oh, that's a problem. Quick claw? No. Right, somehow, I've got to get through this with Marley, who has flying and normal moves. That crit kind of ruined my day. Ooh, this is not good. 
this is going to do nothing. Yep. Uh, okay, let's just reload. Uh, right, I can't. I have to. I have to white out, quit the game, and reload. Let's go to a Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. That crit kind of ruined everything. How dare it. How very dare it. Right, so how do I... There we go. No, that's not to main menu then, I guess. How do I get to the main menu? Do I just reload the ROM? I guess? I mean reload the, the console that I don't like that Nurse Joy gives me a talking to um. right let's just level up a, let, let's get to level 16 first that seems like a, a, a fair a fair idea uh, it's probably quicker to go up here actually so I need I could I'll get a geodude to show that guy for the item that he's probably going to give me. Um, see if it can learn Rock Smash, because I need Rock Smash anyway. Right. Absorb is going to be... F oh, right, of course. Judy's Rock Round, isn't it? That's why I'm doing so much damage to him. Time to wear a Geodude down. I realize it could have gone into the mine to do this, but I just don't like Zubat. Just don't like Zubat. Bamboozled you all as well, saying the stream was nearly over, but it's not, because I have to do this first. Man, I wish I knew the shortcut for like two times speed. Oh, if I do any grinding on stream, uh, I will 100% turn battle animations off. Thanks, Blackout. I appreciate it. Or Ryan, if you prefer. I'll try to remember. You know what's going to be really weird is explaining the brackets thing, like next stream, to pe if people come who weren't here for the start. This should be okay. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. It's also just quick to use the mouse. Ryans of the world, unite! Hell yeah! I caught one! Yudu's data is added to the Pokédex. At rest, it looks just like a rock. Carelessly stepping on it will make it swing its fists angrily. Nothing you have to do, no worries. I'll explain to them, I'm surprised it's still bracket. I mean, it fits. And also, I can't change it at this point. Uh, where was that? It's in here, right? It's in one of these. Hey, dude. Dude, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Thank you. I, have a, uh, I assume Geodude has to be from my party. Uh, I, I didn't nickname the Geodude because I'm not going to keep it around. Like, I'm not going to use it. It's just for the Rock Smash. So cool, it's so cute. That does it. I'll go and catch Pokemon too. Thank you, my friend. Here's a token of my thanks. Sweet, a heal ball. Here's where Geodude can't learn Rock Smash. Haha! -ha, I can. Also, I'll admit I was just mashing through the uh, 
after the text. You know what? If I come up against another dude, dude I'll try and catch it and I'll actually give it a nickname. Uh, I'll go down to the mine, I guess. Yeah, because there was Onyx and Geodude in here. Can I just like run around here? There we go. I can. Right, I'll try and catch this one. Give it a nickname and release the other one. Alright. Geo dudes in front of my party. Cool. Hey brackets. I'm just gonna get this one to half and then try. So chat, you need to be thinking of Geodude names. If it makes any difference, that Geodude is a male apparently. I mean, I assume the answer to be... Oh, right, Kranidos, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, were there any rock types introduced in Gen 4? But I'm pretty sure Kranidos was introduced in this gen. I don't remember it from Gen 3, which is... Okay! Steady on, brackets! Steady on. Right, we got it. We got another Geo, dude. What do we call him, the Geo, dude, chap? You had time. I was too busy trying to be halfway entertaining to think of a name. Hmm. I also don't like the way it's jumping up and down. Rockman, as in the, the, the Mega Man. Uh, it's, is that hyphenated? I mean, I could just call him Mega Man. What are we thinking? It's unlikely to get used to it the whole game. Just because I do want to try the Gen 4 Pokemon. Oh, we're going with Mega Man. Right, Mega Man. <laughs> I want you to learn Rock Smash. Cool. Excellent. Uh, I believe I have to release you from a computer in a Pokemon Center. Right. Now I need more rock types just to consume to get to level 16. Unfortunately, we won't be doing the gym today. I'm running kind of low on time. But we can start with the gym next time, which will be Tuesday, which will be even shorter than this stream has been because of my Onyx Path stuff. I might do some grinding grinding over the weekend just to get uh, Marley's level up. Oh, jeez. Might have to do some grinding for Bracket as well. Give me an Onyx. They had loads of XP within the solid rock body. Yes, yes, give me the XP. Two more maybe? Uh, I will not be grinding Molly in this cave though. Probably go back to Route 207. Line moves for the Machop, normal for the Pony to run away from the Geodudes.
I'm gonna have to have the fan on for D&D &D later. Jeez, it's really warm in this room all, for some reason. Oh, I guess it's pretty sunny outside. That would, that would kind of explain it. Right, level 16, here we are. Let's see if that extra level makes all the difference against the gym leader. It probably won't, let's face it. Moment of truth. Does Turtwig evolve a level 16? No, it does not, goddammit. Be probably 18, 17 or 18 then. Right, anyway. Uh, I have to heal and end the stream. So, thank you everyone for watching this. I hope, hope it's okay. Obviously, Pokemon is kind of hit or miss whether you enjoy watching other people play it. Um, I really appreciate everyone checking the stream out. Watching it on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I mean, it's a Pokemon game so far. It's pretty much identical to every other Pokemon game so far. Hopefully Gen 4 lives up to the hype, because I know loads of people really like Gen 4. So, um, I will save the game. And I will bid you all a fond farewell. Uh, just gonna, also going to say that I am running a d, d session on this channel later, so if you're interested in tabletop role-playing, and you can make it, that'll be in a, about two hours' time. Uh, hopefully. And hopefully it's a good time. D&D &D with some friends. But that's it for now. So thank you all very much. See you around. Stay safe. Have a good one. Be kind to each other.